Good evening, everyone. This is Blaze, and you are watching the arts, culture, and us. And we want to welcome you and thank you for viewing. We are doing um, Half Raw Part 2. In case you missed Half Raw Part 1, let me just tell you a little bit about our special guest, who is Sharon Winbush. Uh, let me just read a little something here. Women and men are being diagnosed with cancer in their 20s, 30s, and 40s at alarming rates. And if lifestyle isn't addressed, their chances of reoccurrence increases dramatically. We reduce the risk of disease, manage disease, disease better for you, better for you, and increase chances of surviving cancer, heart disease, stroke, AIDS, diabetes by making lifestyle changes that support a healthy immune system. Now, I'll just say that 50 million Americans are uninsured and those that have insurance aren't covered for 100% of medical costs. So what Sharon is going to tell us a little bit about today in part two, we're going to really deal with specifically in some cancer, uh, HIV, and a few other things. And our flutist and opening musician here was our co-host, Maia. Thank you very much, Thank very much, much, much blessings. Thanks and why don't you start the show off? Oh, wow. I am very inspired by this sister. She, I think, has the answer. A lot of us don't like to struggle, even though day to day we have to struggle. But Sharon Winbush has come up with a solution. We have all these what we needs to do, but she's got a solution that I think will bring people to health, half raw. Mm -hmm. She is a life coach and has designed a method that we'd like for her to talk a little bit more about. Okay, Half Raw is the program that I do to teach people to incorporate raw, live, organic foods into their life. The reason that's important is because dead food does not produce a live body. Once you cook food, it's dead, and if you are suffering from a disease, dead food will never help you recover the way live foods will. Mm. The reason I came up with Half Raw is, as I said in part one of this series, I myself could not do 100% raw. And so I, I felt convicted because I was trying to teach raw but couldn't achieve it myself. So I began teaching what I could do, which is half raw. And what I found is 99% of people out here do not want to become raw foodists. Mm -hmm. They do not want to be vegetarians or vegans. We love the ribs, the beef, the, the chicken, the turkey, the, all the stuff that we have grown accustomed to but we want to be healthy too. So what I did, came up with for myself and for the 99% of other people just like me who want to continue to eat foods that they like but also experience some health is I came up with a, a plan of doing as much raw as you possibly could given the health state that you're in. And what I mean by that is if you currently do not have an illness, you can get your diet 50% raw and that will drastically reduce your risk of getting disease. If you are in a state of disease... How, how does it do that? Because you are giving the body live enzymes, you are giving it nutrients, beta carotene, antioxidants, you're giving it everything that the body needs to be healthy. The fiber is actually getting rid of the waste through one of your five channels of elimination. You have the gastrointestinal tract that eliminates solid waste. You have the kidneys that filter liquid waste. You have the lungs that clean in respiration, gaseous waste. Mm -hmm. The liver is a detoxifying organ. And then your skin, which is your largest detoxifying organ, it cleans in the form of perspiration. Mm -hmm. If you hamper one of those five channels of elimination, you, ha you keep waste in the body. And anything that's waste in the body is going to create toxicity, and toxicity will then increase your risk of disease. Let's mm. talk just a touch more about uh, 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 reducing toxics in your, in your body, the importance of that and, and, and why people should really focus on that. And also what you say that you should make health your number one priority. So let's, let's also start that at the beginning of this show is 
that what you're really saying is that people are not paying enough attention. They're not aware. They're being foolish. They're used to taking a pill. They look for a doctor. But really, it is all up to you to feed yourselves yourselves properly each and every day as much as possible. You increase your chance of survival of any disease. You help the doctor assist you by taking responsibility for your lifestyle choices. People work very hard to acquire money. They go out here and they, they work very hard to buy expensive homes, expensive cars, clothes. Mm. Women get their hair and nails done. <laughs> uh, we spend money in every area of our lives and then we go to a vending machine or a drive through at a fast food restaurant and we want to be very cheap with our food. I have people telling me I can't afford to work with you because I have to pay my rent, I have to pay my house note. Dead people don't live in houses. Mm. If you're dead, <laughs> mm. you can't drive your BMW okay. or your Mercedes. Okay. So your number one priority <coughs> must be save your life, prevent disease. Mm. Every bill gets paid after that because if you're sick, if you're dying, you're not having a quality of life and you're not enjoying those material things anyway. And anything that you've worked to acquire financially will go towards fighting to save your life if you get into a disease state. So preventive measures are always cheapest, the least expensive, the least toxic, and the least painful to you. Now what about supplements? Do, do you advise? supplements or is this an alternative to even dealing with supplements? I deal strictly with food and my belief mm. is if you don't feed the body properly a supplement is just that it is to supplement what mm. you're doing but you can't take a pill and then eat a cheeseburger it just doesn't work okay you have to change the foods that you put into your body so I teach lifestyle I teach you how to shop healthy cook healthy prepare healthy meals so that the foundation is taken care of so then if you choose to do supplements if you choose to be on any type of medication if you choose a surgery if you choose any other protocol it has a greater chance of working for you because you have have dealt with the foundation, which is what you're feeding every cell, every organ, every tissue in your body. That's why I say she's got the solution, because the main thing about all of these different methods is, are people going to do it? Mm -hmm. And the way you're presenting this, it makes it so accessible mm -hmm. to all kinds of people. And, and let's just talk about, uh, I currently work with a group of cancer patients, one mm. lady in my group she had cancer a few years ago, did not make lifestyle changes, so the cancer reoccurred. It I hear that happens a lot. Mm. It happens Which really because surprises me. African Americans have the highest death rate from every disease. The African American male has the highest death rate of everybody. Wow. And women die 10 years sooner than every other ethnic group, predominantly because of our lifestyle. We do not change the way we eat. And mm. then we, first of all, we don't seek medical attention soon enough. And then when we do, um, we don't change lifestyle so that any assistance that or any protocol that we're on will help us. But I work with uh, uh, many cancer patients, HIV patients, and one of the ladies that I'm currently working with, she came to me, her tumor was uh, the size of an avocado on her chest, and she had it in 10 different locations throughout her body. Wow. I put her immediately on 100% raw because the, the worse your condition, the more aggressive you have to be. Okay. So I put her on 100% raw protocol. The tumor has come down two centimeters. All of the 10 other locations are healing. She's having no negative About side what period effects. Of time? Over, we've been working together for three months. Wow. The first six weeks, the tumor came down 1.13 centimeters. And each, you know, she goes back to get the MRI and the CAT scan and that kind of thing. And so they're constantly monitoring the tumor. And each time we're seeing a decrease in the tumor, everything's healing, her immune system is strong, but most importantly, she is not sick. You know, she's on the uh, chemotherapy because she chose to continue to do that, but she changed her lifestyle in addition to that. So she's not sick from the chemo, she's not taking any days off work. Her quality of life has gone up as opposed to down. Mm. We know with cancer patients, if they have surgery, if they do chemo and radiation, they're usually so violently ill that they cannot work, so you have the loss of income just treating the disease, not to mention what the disease costs, but you end up not working for six months, a year, or two years. You end up on disability. Your income has gone down, and you're sick throughout the process, not to mention the pain and suffering of your children. So if you can change your lifestyle, you do the juices, the raw foods, mm -hmm. and then it helps you continue to work and 
ke uh, take care of your family and do the things that you need to do, it also helps the chemo work better, the radiation, if that's what you choose to do. Just any raw food, or is it specific? I do or an entire per, or per is it, or, or is the distinction between raw and organic? Mm. Well, it's organic raw. Organic means no chemicals are used in the food, but raw means it is not cooked. And when I work with people, there's an entire protocol that I do that is specific. I've worked with HIV, AIDS, cancer, and all these diseases. So I not only change food, I change things in your environment. I change how you bathe. I change the mm. quality of how the oxygen bathe? that give you breathe. Give us an example. <laughs> well, I, I give you a particular soap that I want you to use. You mm. exfoliate the skin, and I give you a step-by-step -step protocol to follow just for the body itself. Remember I said the uh, skin is your largest detoxifying yes, organ. You oxygen is the number one thing that you need to stay alive. If the quality of oxygen that you put into your body is poor, you're not going to survive anything. So I work with all of that in the program that I do for people when I work with them. And specifically with HIV, just to touch on that real quickly, I, I worked with patients who doctors told them they had six months to live, they were in the wasting set stage of the disease, they had pneumocystis carini pneumonia, Kaposi sarcoma, which is the cancer associated with HIV and AIDS. And when you put people on is the it, raw say foods, that again? Kaposi sarcoma, which How is the I cancer. How come I didn't know that? <laughs> AIDS related like cancer. I have known that, but Google it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll Google it. <laughs> but I, there was one patient in particular who was in the hospital. Uh, I put the I took juices to the hospital for them to consume. What type of juice? The carrot juice combination that I have, where I, I put fresh ginger root in there, some apples, and some other herbs and combinations mm. that I use. That person walked out of the hospital. Well, they were in the worst state of pneumocystis carini, uh, which is the pneumonia associated with HIV. They were mm. in the wasting stage of the disease. Wasting means the body is not grabbing nutrients. So you have chronic diarrhea. Mm. You're losing all your nutrients in the waste. What happens with the juices is because there's no digestion necessary, the nutrients are absorbed immediately, so you don't have to worry about the wasting stage. So uh, it has enormous impact with HIV and AIDS patients. And enormous impact with cancer, diabetes, every disease out there. And for men who, you know, I, I want to talk to the brothers out there because mm -hmm. we don't pay attention to our, the health of our men. And men are so afraid to not only deal with the illness, but they don't want to make the lifestyle changes. Erectile dysfunction is a direct result of circulation. When you have a blockage in the artery that leads to the heart, it's going to block blood flow. But mm. if it leads to the brain, it's going to block blood flow there as well. So that would cause a stroke. If it leads to the heart, that's what causes a heart attack. Mm. And if this is the blockage that leads to the sexual organ, it will cause erectile dysfunction. So blockage is systemic. When a man has high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, any illness, 40% of men over the age of 40 experience erectile dysfunction. If you change your lifestyle, if you change your eating habits, Th you can unclog these arteries and get back to normal sexual function. And I've seen that happen with men. Five so pounds of fat, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> so, so we can really illustrate what we are speaking about. I just right. love this. This is represents five pounds of fat, and lots of people have a whole lot more fat than this. Just At least ten of those. That. Yeah. <laughs> Erectile that misfunction. <laughs> so, um. Uh, 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 we were, you were saying something about oftentimes a lot of people don't seek medical attention. Yeah. Just uh, touch upon that a little more. People have a fear of doctors. There's a asso negative association to the medical establishment. Plus 50 million people uninsured. And the lack of insurance. A lot of people mm -hmm. don't have insurance. They don't have the proper coverage. The insurance lapses. So we don't do the things necessary. And not to mention you have people that have a lower income bracket, so they can't afford the, to pay the um, the deductibles or to pay the co-pays on the medicines and things like that, so they don't seek out the, the help that they need. But you have to make lifestyle changes, and I don't like to deal too much with the medicine aspect of it because that's not my expertise. I focus on the food and the lifestyle because my belief is that is the foundation of health and therefore it is the foundation of disease. If you deal with the root cause of the problem, you have better control of the outcome. If you don't address the root, 
yeah, if you don't address the root cause, then you're putting a Band-Aid on a bullet wound. Mm. It's not going to be effective. Mm -hmm. And you wanted to talk about what? It's two things that you stimulated, um, talking about the outcome. The outcome as far as the people that you work with, what is the rate of good outcome? And something else you just touched on when you talk about economics. A lot of times when people think about organic foods, they think of cost. When you t think of low-income people, a lot of times they're just going to go to you what's convenient. Not, not even just mm -hmm. what's, what's convenient, where they don't have to go a, a long distance to get the foods and, and the items that they need. So does it have to be organic? What well, are the al alternatives? So those are the two things I'd like for you to speak on. And, and to, to address the last first, what happens is people do what they want to do. Mm. I, I educate people on what are your priorities. <laughs> there, to me, if my life is on the line, there is no cost too high. There is no travel too far okay. for me to save my life. So I like to educate people on getting your priorities in order. We'll go out of town for a party. Mm. We will go out of town for a convention. We will go to a concert. We will come up th with the money to buy a pair of shoes. That's true. Uh, we will. You don't go to the liquor store and bargain with him. <laughs> you don't go to the dope house and bargain. Mm -hmm. You pay whatever they tell you that's to pay right. because that's what you want, and you're going. That's your priority, and you're going to find a way to come up with the money. You have to value your life and value your health at that same level. But when you eat healthy, uh, you're saving across the board. Number one, the cost might seem a little higher when you go to the grocery store, but you're not overeating. And then what you save in terms of... Why aren't of you overeating? Because you're not going back for a second carrot juice. You're not going back for a second salad. You usually eat, you're meeting the nutritional needs of the body, you're not hungry, and so it, it's, it's sufficient for you. Mm -hmm. If you're eating empty calories, you tend to overeat and you tend to go back for more. Let's talk about cooked and uncooked foods real quick. Okay. For, to educate our uh, viewers. When you cook something... The reality. The reality mm -hmm. of... You do the best that you can. When you cook something, it's dead. But we have acquired this taste for this food that's not going to go away just because you have cancer, just because you have AIDS, just because you have some other type of malady that you're dealing with. So you have, I deal with where people are. I get you to do as much raw as you possibly can, and then I work with your atta emotional attachment to food so that you are constantly moving up the gradient and getting up to 100% raw. Once you clean the body out, you're going to feel better, you're going to feel an increase in energy, and that's going to keep you in the process. Um, but you say 30, 60, 90 days. How long does it take to clean out your body? It takes about six months. You have, wow. uh, that, that's why these little... So this is just to get you on the right track. It's, it's to get seven-day detox things. Yeah, you're not cleaning yeah. anything. Mm. You have 30, 40, 50, 60 years of accumulation of waste. Imagine if you didn't clean your house for 40 years mm. or mm. if you didn't clean your house for 50 years. You're not going to clean it out in two hours because you have debris that has built up. You have a film of waste that, or, you know, just, you know how that dust, dust just packs yeah. on and it'll be, a, you know, just a grimy environment. So you have to clean all of that up step by step, room by room. The same happens with the inside of your body. You have been putting cheeseburgers, hamburgers, <laughs> pizza, fries, all of these things in your body, me three no. meals yeah. a day, <laughs> seven days a week for 365 days yeah. for 30, 40, 50 years of your life. Mm. You're not going to clean that out with a pill. You're not going to clean it out with a tea. You're not going to clean it out with a colonic. You've got to come in and clean the same way you dirtied with food. And I teach you how to do that so in my program. food is a cleanser. I like that. I and use and, and yeah. the focus is not just on the disease. It's on lifestyle change. It's on lifestyle because you got disease is a symptom. It's not the root cause. The root cause was poor lifestyle. And mm. so then you, you progress to a disease state. But you had warning signs before you got to cancer. You had warning signs before you had that heart attack. You, the lack of energy, the uh, loss of breath, the poor respiration, the poor elimination, the constipation. You're, you're, it's like your car ha has this red light and it's saying, warning, warning. Your body is giving you warning signs, and, mm. but we just keep medicating and shutting it off mm. and not paying attention to it. And rather than address the root cause, we want to numb the symptom. And then we get into a catastrophic state and... Well, there are some viewers out there right now who are saying, you know, that sounds good. It really does. I wonder how I could get started. 
Because I'm not ready to go all the way. Like uh, Tyrone was just telling us earlier, that sounds good because he's it's a compromise sort of, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So what is a good way for people to get started in this to get new started, lifestyle? Well, you you begin by resistant people who come <laughs> because they know they should, but they're still resisting the attachments and all that. Well, you first have to assess your quality of life. What do you want your quantity of life to be? How long do you want your life to be? And what is the quality of life? So one, and you have to be very clear on that and make that your priority. Once you do that, you read books, you take classes, you do programs like the one I offer so that you can then learn as much as you can because if you don't know why you need to do this, if you don't understand how to do it, it's not going to be long term. So education is one of the most important things that I tell people. But <clears throat> Michael Jordan has a coach. Tiger Woods mm. has a coach. Mm. The most successful people out here hire somebody who's been doing something longer than they have so that their learning curve is very short. I come in with my 17 years experience and work with you. So you're getting 17 years of experience with HIV, AIDS, cancer, diabetes, heart disease, everything that I've learned uh, throughout my process. And you're getting that, and I'm teaching you that within the few months that we work well, together. Was there somebody that, that asked you to come and help them, and when you saw them, you felt there was no hope, and yet they overcame? I ne I'm, I'm such a positive person. There, to me, as long as you have breath in your body, there is hope. Mm. And I will work with anybody. I just talked to a lady who had lung cancer, and, you know, she's gone through some very horrible times. and. I was, you know, giving her all the possibilities. To me, you don't ever throw in the towel, mm -hmm. you know, because to me, that's you throw in the towel, you're dead. You're right. You fight until there is no more fight in you. Well, we're down to four minutes again. Like I mm -hmm. said, this has just gone way too fast. Really, very education. And on behalf of our viewers, I want to thank you because you really are doing a magnificent job of encouraging us. So we want to take a moment to point out once again that. As part of the program, what was that you call it? The detox. So what's the full name? The commando, the 30, 60, 90 day detox program. Yeah, and so you also have a book, Half Raw, which is a 69, 30, 60, 90 days raw live organic foods detox program. 50% organic raw foods lifestyle. So we want to emphasize um, that you can contact us here at. The Arts, Culture, and Us, at the end of the show, you'll see a phone number and you'll see an email. The phone number will be 213-784-1692, and the email will be blaze for arts at yahoo. That's blaze number four, A-R-T-S, at yahoo.com, and we'll put you in direct contact with Sharon. And you're offering them what? I would like to give everyone Everyone that contacts me to contact everyone her. Everyone that contacts him a free consultation if you have HIV and AIDS. If you are suffering from cancer, if you have diabetes, what about if depression? You does your food help people that are it depressed? It actually does because it changes the emotional chemistry in the body. And I'll, if you're depressed, I'll, I'll deal with that as well. Okay, but ahead. contact Blaze, and I will do a free consultation for you. If you do not have a disease and you would just like to learn more to help you, your family, and anyone else you know and love, please contact him, and I will get some free information to you. And if it's just someone that wants to learn how to eat healthy just so they never get into a disease state, I, I, to me, everybody should be concerned about their health. And some of the places we can go to eat organic? Uh, they have a lot of... Or get, purchase organic? You go, they have uh, Erewhon as a store, you have Wild Oats, you have Trader mm -hmm. Joe's, you have Whole Foods, and you have these farmer markets all over California. So mm -hmm. California is one of the, the luckiest places in the world to find healthy food yeah. because you have so many conscious people here, which is why I moved here from Chicago because mm -hmm. the, the consciousness is so high here that people have absolutely no excuse. Well, before you begin playing the flute, Maya, is there anything else you want to say before you she flute so us out? She is thorough. <laughs> I'm thoroughly interested myself. I've, I call myself an 80% vegetarian. Mm -hmm. but I don't live as systematically, mm -hmm. or my my methods are not as systematic as yours. And so mm -hmm. I'm I'm thoroughly impressed. And I, as I said, I think this is the answer. This is the solution we've been looking for. I've seen a lot of success over my years of working with people. Mm -hmm. I've seen 
Uh, what, your level of input is what gets you the results. If you mm -hmm. put 10% effort into anything, you're going to get 10% out. Mm -hmm. If you put 50% in, you'll get 50% out. The people that I have worked with, they get exactly out of this program what they put into it. If you put 90% in, you get 90% out. And I've seen some very wonderful things happen throughout my career. And every adult that does this, they are sending out a message to their children. Absolutely. We are changing generations uh, by not only learning to eat healthy for ourselves, just like you taught your kid how to eat uh, salt pork and, and chitlins and all that other stuff that's bad for them, or smoke cigarettes or drink alcohol, or they learn by association by watching you, they can learn something positive and healthy by you, you taking them into the kitchen with you and having your children juice with you, having them make smoothies with you, take them to the grocery store and show them how to pick out the produce and the fruit. And you're changing generations by doing that. And as a lifestyle coach, you actually, when people engage, you actually shop for them? I shop for them and I shop with them. Hmm. And I teach them step by step how to make all the changes they need throughout their life so that it is a lifestyle change and you are healthy throughout your life process. Well, all right. Uh, once again, on behalf of my co-host, Maya, and myself, I want to thank you very thank much you for, for coming and sharing all this knowledge and encouragement and truth to our viewers. And um, this was um, Half Raw Part, part two. 2. So now we have to go to Half Raw Part, part three. 3. I'm certain <laughs> of it. So once again, this is Blaze from the Arts, Culture, and Us. And we want to thank you so very much.